my friends! Welcome back to another painting. Today I'm working on an 8x8 eight eight inch canvas, laying down a very thin coat of titanium white for a chain pull flower. The colors for this one are going to be blue and silver. I'm just putting a layer of titanium white on the sides so that I can cover them, rather than doing a thicker coat of white on the canvas and tilting it off in order to cover the sides. I wanted to do it this way to try and save some paint. Here I am laying down the colors that I will be dipping my chain in which are cobalt blue, phthalo blue, and silver. This first chain pull is in real time just so you can gauge how it goes and then I will be speeding it up after that. But. I love these colors with white, especially thalo blue. I love thalo blue mixed with white. It always has the most gorgeous tints. And I think that using multiple shades of blue also brings another layer of dimension to this as well. I will be covering the entire canvas, basically not leaving very much negative space at all left. It's just gonna be the flower. At this point, I'm basically experimenting with different color palettes for this technique and seeing what I like and what I don't like, and I like this one. Kind of struggled at the end of this chain pull here, as you can see, and that's kind of what I mean by it gets a little bit harder near the end of your pull. It always does, and especially when you're doing these smaller petals, it is quite challenging. But if I can do it, you can do it too. Unless you're just here to hang out and watch the process, in which that's wonderful too. Hello, hi, welcome. For me, this one looks like you're looking through a kaleidoscope. It's got like that kind of symmetrical feel, and it's just kind of trippy. <laughs> Let me know if you see that as well, or if you see something else, I'd love to know. As I'm continuing on, I will let you guys know that I am working on, like, kind of combining techniques. My boyfriend had an idea, and I was actually like, wow, I could probably do that, and it's such a cute concept, so uh, maybe in the next week or two I may be making a video about that, so be on the lookout for that. Here we are on the fourth layer of petals, and after this, it gets considerably harder. It's always the hardest just to finish the flower. But you could stop here and do some cute little dots in the center that would represent the flower's stamens. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yes, I had to Google what they were called because I don't know, I'm not a biologist. I apologize for my bun being aggressively in the shot, but I just wanted to say hello. You can see the struggle, but we are almost there and it's looking just so neat. Here's where I bring in the string to finish it off. Do a little swirly in the middle and here is the close up. I did put the flashlight on so that you could see the shimmer. Isn't it just so neat? so shiny so pretty i love it and y'all i'm getting a little fancy with the edits anyway i hope that you all enjoyed this one please let me know in the comments down below and follow my facebook art page for the dry results i hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful wonderful day see you next time